Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafters. So I'm so excited to be doing this today. It's been so long since I've done it, so I wanna show you guys. We are going to be doing um, applying vinyl to a thermos. And so what you wanna do is, um, well, I'm in this whole journey, all right, of doing HTV, so heat transfer vinyl, which is different than pressure vinyl, which is the adhesive vinyl. But I kind of wanted, you know, what the, it was like a good idea to show you both so that you can understand the differences, right? So adhesive vinyl is, um, you know, like for me, I think of it as a sticker, like in layman's terms, it's a sticker, but you know, a little bit more permanent because it'll stick on the thermos really, really well. All the thermoses that I've done for my daughter in the past have lasted her whole school year, which means it's going through um, her touching it, <laughs> which is kind of crazy when you think about preschool, right? Because they're young. Um, and all through the washing of it. So this is what you want to do. This is like a multi-layered piece. It's a kitty cat. Um, you know, a lot of people, oh, and I'm missing, I'm missing a little piece here, but you'll understand what, what, what I was trying to do with this. I'll talk about that in a second. We're using registration marks. Um, it's a little kitty cat. If you don't want to put the name on your stuff, you can put something that is more recognizable, equally recognizable, right? Um, so for instance, I did a cinch bag, right? So like a little cheer bag or, you know, she's going to go to um, soccer or whatever it is. So this makes it unique, right? First of all, it's a cat. She loves kitty cats. And then it has the C. So instead of putting her name Charlotte on everything, um, I'm putting things where it's easy to spot it. It's super cute. Um, no one else is going to have this, right? So similar on the same theme, it is a kitty cat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, let's start layering this thing. Um, but actually, before we do that, let's get, this is just rubbing alcohol. You want to clean your surface. So I am going to put it like this. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to put the little lid down like this and clean. Um, actually, hold on. I don't want it where the word thermos is, so I'm gonna put it like right here. And actually, let's put the thermos there. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it right here. Let's get some rubbing alcohol. Okay. So I'm holding it down here because I know I'm not gonna be putting it here. Okay, and I'm just gonna scooch it there. We're gonna leave it there for a second. All right, in the meantime, I've already weeded everything. So you can see this is, you know, layered quite a bit. If you notice, almost all the colors, except for this one, has two dots. So basically, we're gonna line up the dots on top of each other so that we can get it perfectly placed, okay? I'll show you how to do that in design space. But our back is this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tape this down. I don't think we need to. In my reel, because I did one already, I taped it down. I'm using contact paper from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can use whatever transfer tape you wanna use, okay? Um, but because we're doing multiple layers, I do recommend one that's not super, super strong. So um, the other thing is if you're, oh my gosh, I can't open this. If you are using Cricut's transfer tape, which I have a ton of, and I like it, but for this project, it's it's too sticky for me. Um, but if you use it, make sure that you are not using the purple one. The purple one is just for their glitter vinyl, and their glitter vinyl, it's like, it's extra strong grip tape. That's not what we want for this. Okay, we're gonna do the white layer first, okay? So we're gonna put down the whole thing. Okay, and then you wanna make sure that it sticks to your transfer tape. So we're burnishing it. Okay, I'm gonna peel it off. I'm using Oracle 651 because I do want it to be, you know, permanent um, to go onto my thermos. And you see how I'm pulling it back like this? I'm not trying to fight with it. I want it to pull, you know, 
I want to be able to pull off my paper, but not mess with that. Okay, now here's the trick. Normally, I would flip it over and try to line up the whole thing, right? But there's a lot of stickiness right here that we don't want to have to deal with. So I'm just going to use old like sticker, you know, this is what the vinyl came on. So I'm going to use that and I'm just going to put it down. And I'm going to put down a little bit more so that barely anything is sticky right now. The only part sticky is just like this little, little piece, like half an inch, the two dots. Now the two dots, I forgot to put the dots on the purple one. We, I should have put it on the purple one to line up the white. But the white is super easy because there was so much. It's basically just following, you know, the purple is like an offset, right? So we're going to put it down and see how much easier it is. The only this part is sticky. The rest of this I can touch. It's not, you know, sticking itself to this paper, to this mat. So it makes it so much easier to... Um, to hide the stickiness, basically. Okay, so let's line this up. And that looks about right. And you know if this if this top part is lined up, then you know the rest of it's lined up, right? So I'm getting it down. Then this, we're just gonna peel off. So we're gonna peel off here and it should come off easily. Okay, and then Hold it up, and as you hold it up, we're going to get it down little by little so that there are no air bubbles, and it lines up perfectly, right? It makes so much sense, right? So let's just get this down really, really good. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna peel this off and then we're gonna do the next layer. And sometimes, like, see that little dot wants to come up? Just have a tool ready to hold it down. And try not to use your fingers because we have oils and whatever else on our fingers and we really don't want to mess with the vinyl. Okay. So the rest should come off easily. And I love it. Okay. Okay. So let's do the next one. The next one, let's do, um, let's do the pink. So these are the ears and the paws. So we're just gonna put it down like this. Make sure it really sticks to our transfer tape. And then these two dots are our registration marks, right? I know it's kind of hard to see the white against here, but we're gonna line it up basically on top of the two white circles. And then the two purple circles are gonna go on top of the two pink circles. So when you line up the registration marks, then everything else falls into place. So let's pick this up. Let's put down our cover so that we don't have to deal with so much stickiness. So I left a little bit more on this one, Let's see. So now I'm gonna line it up to my white. I'm gonna take this off. And I don't wanna touch where it's sticky, right? Where the actual vinyl is. So I'm just going to take this So now I'm gonna pull back my transfer tape. Oops. All 
Okay. So, oh no! I moved my one, my one dot. So, I'm gonna take it off. We still have one dot left. And of course, it's the opposite dot for the... <laughs> Let's do the purple one. Okay, the purple one we can still do. Oh my gosh. Of course, right? And I don't have an extra one to demo it, but usually when you do this, it works a lot better. I should have, you know, I used a brand new piece of transfer tape. I shouldn't have done one that was so sticky, but you live and you learn. Okay, so on this one, same thing. We want to, I'm just going to put it down like that. Okay. So I'm going to line up my one dot now because the other one doesn't match. So, but I can get a feel for it. Okay. I'm going to pull off this one and this one. And see, I mean, the eyes go exactly where they're supposed to go. So that's the whole point of this if you don't mess it up like I did. <laughs> but now I've got this dot back down, so that's all good. Perfect. Okay, so let's do our last one. I'm going to line it up to this dot. Oops. And then pull this off. Oh, and I had a little bit of movement. I knew it. Okay, I'm just going to pull it off and I'm going to try to I'm gonna cut this. So, this is what happens sometimes, right? I just need a pair of scissors, so give me a second. Here it is. I'm gonna wing this one. I'm gonna cut off this piece so that I don't have a lot of stickiness to deal with, okay? So I'm gonna trim it as much as I can. But I don't wanna touch the actual blue part, okay? Because I want that to be void of any of my oils. From my from my fingers i'm still going to cover it because i want to line up this part more easily and in fact i'm going to trim as much as i can so that i'm not dealing with a lot of stickiness and interference so i'm going to trim around this and that just makes it easier for us all right so now you see i'm lining up just the tip of the heart so I'm gonna do this. And see, I only have a little bit of stickiness showing, so it's a lot easier to place down. Okay, so I think I did a good job. <laughs> Let's get this down. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat. Okay. Lift this up, take off this piece, and then we're going to roll down little by little so that we don't have any air bubbles. looks good okay <laughs> it was worth it all right so there we have that and then I'm gonna need another piece to pull everything off together but look it right it's super cute it's um totally aligned and then right now I'm gonna get another piece of transfer tape because I cut mine up
and then we're gonna put it on the actual thermos. So, now the thing is, you wanna let it cure. So, once I put this on, I'm not touching it for days. So, if, for these projects, you definitely wanna, you know, give yourself time for it to cure, for it to really sit, no one touches it, so that the stickers stay in place. Now, give me a second there. <laughs> All right, so on this side, we wanna make sure that we get everything onto the transfer tape. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do the same thing because I wanna line it up a little bit. So I'm gonna put it like this. Then we're gonna move this down a little bit. Oh. oh, it moved a little bit on me, right? Okay. So, I'm going to put it And I'm gonna cut some lines in here just to help us kind of lay it down. I'm gonna go down the middle first. And while the transfer tape is still on, this is the time to really burnish, especially those little whiskers. Because once you pull off the transfer tape, then it's just that the little thin vinyl pieces there. You don't wanna burnish on that directly. So now is the time when you have the transfer paper on here to really get everything down. And then we're just gonna leave it. You're not gonna touch it for like, I would recommend at least, I believe it's 48 hours, right? I would like 72 hours. And if you could do 72 hours, just leave it for a week. Finish this thing, get, you know, let's not be a hot mess. <laughs> Finish as early as you can and let it sit, rest, and it will stay on there for a very long time until you want to take it off and put a new sticker on here. But there's no way that someone else will have a Thermos Kid um, little bottle that's light blue like this with this color kitty combo on there. It's clearly hers. Okay with her cat monogram cinch bag. All this stuff is hers, all without her, her name on there. Um, I know I always get feedback from people and I see it too in the Facebook groups, like people are really worried about having their kids' names on things, um, thinking it's easier for you know a kidnapper to, to get your kid. Um, my only argument to that, I'm just gonna throw it out there, <laughs> is that if you stick around long enough, kids are always yelling each other's names, teachers are calling their names. I, I don't find that that is as big of a deal, but I wanted to show you how to personalize without using the name. But 
All right, so I'm gonna pull this off. I'm pretty sure this whole thing is stuck down really, really well with no bubbles. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna take really good pictures of this. I love it. Okay. So there you have it. Look at that cutie pie. <laughs> All right. So join me on my HTV journey. We're going to be personalizing everything. I've got backpacks, cinch bags, uh, pencil pouches, um, teacher tote bags, backpacks. Did I say that already? Sweatshirts, t-shirts, all that stuff, all in the month of August. Um, I'm also doing a giveaway with Poly Tape. So one of our lives on Instagram, um, I will definitely announce it when it's coming up, but it's going to be more towards like the third week in August. And someone's going to be winning some kind of prize. I'm not sure what yet. So anyway, I will see you later. Post all your questions. I am. The other thing, though, is um, it, during that live, I'm going to be answering. Well, not me. I'll be asking the experts, which is um, our reps from Polytape, um, all of your H HTV questions. So start posting them. I'm going to be accumulating all the questions, and we will get all of it answered. So all right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.